What's up, guys? I'm at my Nana and Poppy's again for Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. Um, I'm, I'm just going to get on this thing. I'm going to tell you my other horror story. I was watching a Megan McCarley video. I told her about my horror story because she told um my, uh, us about her horror story. So I'm going to tell you guys my second horror story. This is going to be my only one because there's only then two things that bad that's happened to me the other one was whenever i was about mm -hmm. it was three years ago so i was six years old <laughs> or seven because i'm about to turn 10 anyways i'm gonna tell you my horror story so um, you guys are probably getting annoyed that this is moving so much okay Okay, it was on a Saturday night. My mom was at work, and it was me and my sister again. It was just me and my sister. And we just, we were, we weren't at home, I don't think. Pretty sure we were at my dad's, and my sister's stepdad's. And we kept, like, my mom and dad were at work, and... We kept hearing noises, we thought nothing of it, but we still got a little scared because we don't usually hear strange noises like that. And we kept hearing like banging in our room and all that stuff. And then like, we heard our closet door like jiggling and then it just, just, just like automatically stopped. We got scared and my, I told my sister, um, I. I told my sister to stay there. I went and got a knife. I went and got a knife. And I gave my sister one, a huge knife. And then we, I told her, get your phone! And I got my, like, tablet and my phone. Well, I, why do I say my phone? I have a phone now, but I didn't know that time then. But I grabbed my tablet and we ran outside. It was so scary. And then we, like, saw the, our, like, our room has black blinds, so it's hard to see in. It, like, you can see through it, but it's hard to see. It's hard. And we saw them creep open. And then we saw, like, a blue eye. It was so scary. It was, like, blue and, like, red. Not red. Um, yellow shading out of it. It was pretty scary. And we just, like... Our house is far away from the road, but we just like ran towards it. We like, our mailbox is across the road. So like we ran across the road and like there's long grass around it. So we hid in the grass. And there weren't like, even though we lived in the country, there weren't many snakes around. So we didn't think much of it. And we forgot about that. And then like we heard from that far distance, our, like we kept our door open. Luckily, our dogs were somewhere else. Like we left it wide open, and we just saw like a body, and it slammed shut, and we heard it lock. And then, like, we called the police, and the police arrived about ten minutes after that. Luckily, we don't have a back door. We have like a place to go in the back like the back of our house, but no, we don't have a back door. So there was no way for them to get out of my house unless they jumped out of the window in the back or went out of my front door. But whenever the cops arrived, they saw us hiding in the grass and they said, what are you doing? What are you doing? And they like pulled out the taser because they thought we were the guys. And we said, hey, we're the ones that called you. And they're like, oh. And we, like, we heard my door, like, lock on the top, too. And we freaked out. And the cops were like, um, is it okay if we, like, break in your door? We said, yeah, that's fine. But, like, as long as you catch those guys, it's fine. <laughs> and he said, okay. And they smashed down the door. And, uh, they, like, there were... 
10 guys. 10 guys. It was a scary as crap. There was 10 guys. And then two, like, since there were so many, they didn't, there were five cops, and they didn't have enough handcuffs. So they, like, arrested one hand and one handcuff. And, like, put the other, he get it? Like, one hand was on one side and the other, and another guy's hand was on the other side side okay got it but then like um there's two in one handcuff and then we saw the guys my sister got so mad and like she had pepper spray and so did i <laughs> and like because mom and dad like there's a lot of bad guys around there so like they wanted us to be really protected and then we like we asked the cops, is it okay if we tell them something for a second? And he said, sure. And then my, me and my sister, like, I sprayed my pepper spray in one of the guy's eyes. And my sister sp sprayed mm, pepper spray in the other guy's. It was, it was scary. <laughs> but that was my, the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Anyways, leave a shout out to... Llama Lover JC, he like sent me a message on YouTube that said, uh, at least they got, mm, went in jail, because like I told my other horror story from a comment, and yeah, I believe a shout out, leave a shout out to, um, to Llama Lover JC, I think that was his name. Thank you guys, and I will see you later. Bye!